Hello there, in this video we'll cover how to install and get the LXDE desktop up and running on a Chromebook without running. I will be covering basic setup in future videos. If you are interested in Linux on a Chromebook, then you may be interested in my playlist that will cover how to install and set up a Linux desktop on a Chromebook without running. There will be commands, further explanations, and updates in the pinned comment for this video. If you have not installed Linux on a Chromebook, then I recommend watching my install Linux on a Chromebook no running video first, and then come back to this video. I will have a link to that video in the pinned comment. Overall, we are going to update Debian, install some software, disable the light DM greeter, and then we are going to create a script that will start up the LXDE desktop. All of this will take about 12 commands. First things first, we're going to open up the terminal app, select Penguin, and then when the terminal is ready to go, we'll want to be online at this point because we are going to do sudo space apt space update space dash y. This will update the software index list and the dash y at the end will get rid of the extra step of confirming that we want to update. When we are ready, we can press enter to execute the command. After that, we will do sudo space apt space dist dash upgrade space dash y to upgrade already installed packages. This may take a couple of minutes. Now we are going to install some software. For our first install, we will do sudo space apt space install space task dash lxde dash desktop space dash y. This will install the LXDE desktop, which is the desktop that we will have by the end of this video. For me, this install took about 20 minutes. Next, we will do sudo space apt space install space x server dash zephyr space dash y. Zephyr is what will hold the desktop together. For our last install, we will do sudo space apt space install space nano space dash y. This will install the nano text editor, which is what we will use to create the script that will start up the desktop. After that, we will do sudo space system ctl space disable space light dm. SystemCTL stands for System Control and it is a systemd command. Now the light DM greeter clashes with the Chrome OS container design, so this command uses systemd to disable it. Note that we will only have to do this once. If you get to the light DM greeter window, I will cover how to deal with it later in the video. Now we can create the script that will start up the LXDE desktop. To do that, we will first do sudo space nano space slash usr slash bin slash go l. This will use the nano text editor to create a file named go l in the slash user slash bin file path. Keep in mind that we can use this command to edit the script at any time. Go l stands for go lxde and it is just the name of the file, so you can name it whatever you would like. I just name it goel because it's easier to find and easier to type. Now for the first line, we will put in Zephyr starting with a capital X space dash br space dash full screen space dash resizable space colon 20 space ampersand. Resizable is purposely spelled wrong with an extra E in the middle. This line creates a nested X server, which is what the desktop will run in. The ampersand at the end of the line will make it run in the background. For the next line, we will put sleep space 5. This will give time for the desktop to start up. You can adjust the time or get rid of this line completely if you would like. For the final line, we will put in all capital letters display is equal to colon 20 space in lowercase letters start lxde space ampersand. This is what will start up the desktop. We are now done creating the script, so at the end of the last line, we will press enter on our keyboard out of good practice. Note that nano automatically does this because it's like pressing enter to execute a command. When we are done doing that, we will do control O, 
enter, and then control X to save the file and exit nano. The last thing we need to do with the script is sudo space chmod space plus x space slash usr slash bin slash go l or whatever you name the file, and this will make the script executable so that way we can use it. And the moment we've been waiting for, we can type in go l into the command line or whatever you name the file, press enter, and if the window that comes up is not already full screen, we can press the full screen key on our Chromebook keyboard. And after waiting a couple of moments, we will have the LXDE desktop. And if we get an error window that says no session for PID followed by a random number, we can safely ignore that and press on the OK button. And ta-da! We have a desktop. Here I'm going to change the desktop background real quick, which we can do by right-clicking anywhere inside of the desktop background. Remember, a right click on a Chromebook is a two finger click on the mouse pad. From there, we can select desktop preferences and under the appearance tab, we can click on the current wallpaper. From there, we can select our desired background. Once we are done doing that, we can click on the open button and then we can close out of desktop preferences. To properly shut everything down, we just have to right click on the terminal app in the bottom shelf of our Chromebook select shut down Linux, and then after Linux has had a moment to shut down, we can then close out of the terminal app. To get the desktop back, we just open up the terminal app, select Penguin, and when the terminal is ready to go, we can execute the go L script and then wait a couple of moments like usual, and then we have the desktop back. A general fix if the terminal or the desktop won't start up is to shut down Linux. And after Linux has finished shutting down, close out of the terminal app, then shut down the Chromebook, start the Chromebook back up, put the Chromebook online, open up the terminal app, select Penguin, and give the terminal a couple of moments to start up. If the terminal starts up, then we can execute the go L script, wait a couple of moments again, and the desktop should start up. If the light DM greeter window pops up when we start up Linux, it will come up as a window that we can't interact with, and if we try to close out of it, it will close out of the terminal session as well. To fix this without closing the greeter, click on the terminal window, and do sudo space system ctl space disable space light dm. When we're done with that, we can then shut down Linux. And after Linux is done shutting down, we can start Linux back up. And when the terminal is ready to go, there should be no more greeter window popping up anymore. For more information about Debian, we can go to debian.org, which is the official Debian website where we can see what's new with Debian. For even more information about Debian, we can go to debian-handbook.info slash browse slash stable slash. This is the Debian handbook that has a ton of documentation on Debian. Keep in mind that it may take a while for it to catch up to Debian 12, but it should generally be applicable. Another link you may be interested in is lxde.org, which is the official LXDE website where you can get more information about the LXDE desktop. Lastly, there's chromium.org slash chromium dash projects slash, which is the Chromium website for all things Chrome and Chrome OS related. If you enjoyed this video, then you may be interested in the companion book to this video, the Chromebook Guide to Google Linux. And other than that, see you soon.